Yeah, and the Demi Jam does have James Blake on it, which is an odd story, but um, James Blake and I were in Brixton. Well, I was in Brixton having breakfast one morning, and uh, this guy came sat next to me. He goes, Idris, hi, because I'm James Blake. I was like, right, man, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm just a big fan, and we happen to know a good uh, mutual friend. And I was like, oh, no way. So, you know, we just got talking, I was telling him about my music, and he goes, oh, no way, yeah, I'd love to hear some. I was like, would you, would you listen to me? He goes, oh, listen, I, he's like, I'm working on my own album at the moment, but I'll definitely hear whatever you're doing. I was like, perfect. Two months went by, and then um, I, I plucked up the courage. Natembi Jam was a song that was just that. It's called Natembi Jam because Mama Natembi was a beautiful, um, you know, late 50s folk singer. Um, who has her own sort of style. She dresses like a sort of gypsy traveller. She plays all these bizarre instruments. She paints all of her guitars. She has this instrument that's like a, a dong, 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 sort of thing. And she plays it and she wears these funky little hats. And she walked into the studio, tiny, you just want to give her a hug. She came into the studio and she says, oh, I like you, I like your movies, what do you want to do? And she was just like, let's just play. Pick up the guitar and just start jamming. So we were just like blown away by Mana Tembi and we did a few jams. Um, got back to London, listening to the sessions and this one riff, this one jam was like, this is crazy, but we didn't have a song. We didn't, we didn't know what the song was. It was just all of us just jamming and singing. Anyway, Oliver and I sort of, and Ben actually um, took it away and Ben constructed it into what became the Tembi Jam, which is uh, just added some soul to it, some drumage, some beats, and, um, and connected it. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to call James Blake on this, man, see if he'd come and just put some shit on it. And uh, he said, yes. I said, well, he's coming to the studio today. So we're in Shoreditch, and James rolled in there. And thankfully, there was an, an old Rhodes keyboard sitting there in the corner. And he just turned and he goes, oh man, I'll play that. And we wired it into the session and he just started jamming on top of it. That didn't, we didn't know whether it was going to make the song or whatever. But then once he had put that, it just gave the song its bed, its glue. And, um, and I added some trumpets and some scratches and just made it into just a bit more of a a loose fitting song. It's the one song that doesn't really have a structure, but it, it it's actually a beautiful song. And the Tembi, we've got this vocal of her singing over the riff. We forgot we had it. And she's just singing and just singing along and we used it as the main body. Yeah. 